Hello again. Here we have baby number eight, I think. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. It doesn't sound right. Maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway, this is this is our baby. This is Chase by Bonnie Brown. This is this is my um I, I really like Bonnie Brown. I I think I'm gonna start perhaps this collection. So I've got three babies. This is baby number two. You've already seen Scarlet, who we call Bonnie. This is um, Everett. Chase, Everett. who we call Everett. Um, <clears throat> uh, here's no grace. Here's his COA. He is He's bold. not numbered. He's an open edition. So just as just a certificate, no numbers. Um, I made him back in. Ooh, when did I make him? Last year. The end of last year. I'm not sure exactly when. But, gosh, maybe I made, I was talking about Azalea or Annabelle. Maybe I made her before I thought I did too. I honestly do not remember, but he was, he's the second baby I ever made. First one is coming. He'll be the next one we do. But this is the second one I made. So, some of his painting is not going to be quite the same as I do it now, but he's still adorable. And I, I love this sculpt. And I think he's done okay. Hey. So, so here he is. We have our cat in here. She's starting to be a little frisky. So you might hear some of that noise, but that's okay. Here we go. Here's his face. He does have a passy, and I will take that out. The one thing that I am not real happy about this baby um, that I did is his eyebrows. The eyebrows are hard for me, and since this was only my second one, these are really hard. They're just a little dark, darker than I like. Darker than I should have done, I should say. So that is a little different than I do currently. I try to do them a lot lighter because I don't like the that look very well, but that's how he is. He does have the cute little chase mouth. Kind of crooked. Um, and this passy is modified. You can see that it's cut a lot, but it fits in there pretty well. He also has a magnet. So he can take magnetics. Now the magnet's got to be down here because of his open mouth, but you can make it work. So that's that. He's got rooted lashes. He does have blushing, though it's not quite quite as heavy as I do on some. He's not, his complexion is not as red or pink and fresh as I do um, on my more current babies. His hair kind of focus. is it, um, pencil, Prisma pencil and sealed. His hair is okay. It's very st a straight style. Um, but I still think it's cute. Let's see if we can get Here's his little swirl. He's got two fisted hands. Some people have said that one thing they don't like about this kit is the hands because they're identical. I think they are extremely similar, but not identical. The placement of the thumbs is different. So there's that one. There's that one. They're very similar, but they're not quite the same. But anyways, it's a fisted baby. I mean, that would be a natural position for a baby to be fisted in both hands, a uh, newborn, because that's what they really do. So there's his nails, his little hands. And then, oh, I don't, yeah, his ears, we did show those. He's got kind of long ears. Um, Grace, would you either take his pants off or you want to hold the camera? Hold it low. There you go. I'm going to take his pants off so you can see his legs better. By the way, he is wearing a Carter's three-month outfit. Um, and it is just a bit big on him. But, um, Sneaky cute. But I like the big look. Um, newborn just seems to be too tight. I don't like that tightness. So I usually put him in three-month or zero to three. 
Um, size comparison wise, he is not as big as my um, Azalea or Annabelle. And then our newer one, Bonnie, the other Bonnie Brown baby that I've shown so far. I'm not sure. We might have to compare them. But anyways, let's look at his legs and his feet. Here's his little toes. This one's separate. The big one's separate. And then the three in the middle there are all one, are all kind of joined there. Um, I did give him some mottling and veining, of course. You can kind of see it. And some little um, blushing on his knee. And this one here, his foot. He's got it all bent, and there's like wrinkles right there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, kind of. It's really, I like that. It's really cute. So all these toes are all separate, all five of them. So that, to me, is cute. I like that. Um, I'm more into hands. I like babies with interesting hands versus interesting feet. That's just me. Um... He's got on, I think, a size one diaper and a newborn onesie. Now I will do some quick measuring. Okay, let's check out. Oops, oh, I just don't know. Hold on. We'll check out his head. Hold on one second. So I unrolled my tape measure. Okay, here we go. And again, I, I measured just above the ears all the way around. So his head measures almost 14. So he's got a good sized head. And then his body from the very top here down. He is he is small. He is only about 17 and a half. Like the JC Now, when I got him, I expect him to be much bigger. He is listed at 21 inches. So when I got him and put him all together, I thought, that's not a 21-inch baby. So perhaps if his legs were straightened, because again, they are bent, um, maybe he would be 21, but I don't think he would even be that big. I don't, he's just, he's small. He's a small baby. And let me hold him, which I should have done with my last video, and I forgot. So can you get me holding him? You can just see kind of the size. See his little, he's not big. He, you got him all? Uh -huh. Got him in my arms. And he's real floppy. I made him. So he's, I always hold him kind of like this, right under their um, arms, just to see how they're going to flop. And that's how I like them to be. I weight their heads to the front because I, I, when you lay a baby down, I like their head to fall forward and not back. Because if they fall back, then they lay like that, which is not not cute. If they fall forward, that's cute. That's how a baby, I think, how a baby lays. So anyways, just my personal preference. Now I will put him in the juvie carrier so we can check that size out. So he is, here, go up here with his head. Pretty good size in there. I mean, he's not a small baby. Again, this is a toy. This is just... Um, as a reference, this is a baby, uh, or I mean a doll car seat. So his head's most of the way up there. His feet are just about at the end there. Um, so we put our dolls in here just so they all kind of have a common reference point of size. And then I think I'm going to grab, you want to get back up there? I'm going to grab Bonnie and put them together. Okay, hold it right there because that's where I'm going to put them both. Move the passies. There's Everett. I don't know. Did we say his name, Everett? Yeah, I think we did. Okay, i got to reach across here. Hold on. Because here is Bonnie. Oops, Bonnie. Okay, let's see if I can get their heads even. Okay, let's see here for a sec. All right, here we'll start at the top, see? She kind of looks like she has a bigger head to me. I think she does. Well, we measured it. It was 14. His was, what was his? I don't even remember. 13, 13 almost 14. Yeah, that's about the same. And our cat has stopped by. <coughs> Excuse me. So here is Bonnie's bent leg and his bent leg. She's got just a little bit of length on him. Now here's the... My hand goes around right there and here. 
I think she's just a bit bigger, a bit bulkier. So Chase is not a big baby. I call him fairly small, but I do put him in that zero to three, three month size. Um, and what do we say? His name's Everett. Now in the last video we did of our baby Azalea. Actually, she's right over here. Um, Kiki. And sorry, I said her name was Annabelle Lee. And I ask the question of who knew what that name or what she might have been named for or from. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, Annabelle Lee is a poem by Edgar Allan Poe. And that is my favorite poem. So to me, she looks like an Annabelle. So I just named her Annabelle Lee. Um, I, I've liked that poem since I've been in high school. I, I don't know. It's really, if you have never read it, find it. You can find it, I'm sure, on the internet. But it's one of Edgar Allan Poe's famous poems. Not long, like a story at all. So quick, easy, pleasant read. It's not terribly creepy. Just a little. As, you know, you expect with him. So anyways, Annabelle Lee is a poem, and that is what my baby is named after. Um, I did. We didn't name Everett after anything in particular. We just liked the name. So I guess that is all we have for now. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. We have one more baby to introduce, and um, it is another Bonnie Brown baby. These are two Bonnie Browns. I think I said that. Um, and my small collection. So... Um, join us next time. Bye.